The Lando livery has been saved among all the other retro BA747 livery. This is our new toy, this is Negus. There I'll we take go. One, two. We have yeah. one there for you. One for me, yes. Wow. Controller just gave us a hand. I think it, the 747 is about to take off from Cardiff. Oh yeah. It's going to be difficult for them to land in these conditions. That was the best landing I've seen on a 747. It was stunning. Off. Let's see aircraft shut down. Right, where are we off to, Sam? So, let's go to our first stop today, <coughs> which is called Dunspo Aerodrome. Dunsfold in Surrey. We're gonna see the BA Landor 747. Yeah, we just got here at Dunspo. This is cool. This is first time I am driving on the runway, look. I'm following the car and driving on the runway and look what's ahead of us is the BA 747 in Landor livery. Very typical winter, very drizzly. Um, I'm really glad to see the Landor livery has been saved among all the other retro BA 747 livery. There's been a campaign to save the Landor because it's just so great and grand. Wonderful aircraft. Um, city of Swansea came in on runway 07 before it landed he did a fly past and then he came round and did uh, quite a, a steep right hand turn and put the plane down so softly it was a beautiful landing it was really and the pilot afterwards said how pleased he was with the landing stopped very quickly It was absolutely amazing. It's uh, quite an iconic colour scheme. As many a time I've seen this plane at Heathrow, many a time. It's a beautiful aircraft. It's such a shame that they're going to be extinct before we, before we know it. It's always incredible standing underneath the 747 and my head just about clear the uh, underneath belly height here. And uh, look at its main gears. Um, this airplane flew with British Airways over 20 years. Hi so Sam, we're going to take you up to the cockpit of November Lima Yankee now. And let's go ahead. One last time. Incredible walking up the stairs here. Wow. So Welcome aboard. Oh my god, so coming up. It felt such a long time since I've flown a 747. Oh. oh, look at that. Look at the cabin. I'm really going to miss this. The most exclusive cabin in the sky. The upper deck of the British Airways Jumbo, JFK to Heathrow. Set at least seven of these every night. I mean, one every 45 minutes uh, on the red eye. Share with us uh, how much preparation work you've been done last few days. It's been quite involved. We've changed all four RV211 engines in five days, and the engines that have come off are going, and the engines we've put on are for static display purposes. And the interior will be kept as well with the seats in business class, in the yes. economy, like yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's going to be preserved as is. So the reason this 400 is in particular special to preserve is because she wore the original land or livery that she was delivered with in the early 90s. So we're really pleased to see that she's been preserved. That was a great tour inside the Landor British Airways 747. Well now, I'm going to continue to go to Cotswood Airport to see the next 747. Look at this. We just drove past the wing. So we just entered Coatswood Airport. 
where the next BA 747 is. And look at it, it's getting really dark outside and in the middle of woods and there will be a 747 in front of us soon. Hi, well, welcome to Cotswold Airport. My name is Susanna Harvey. I'm the CEO here, and this is our new toy. This is Niga. This is uh, one of the last BA 747s that left Heathrow Airport on the 8th of October. Hey Sam, did you notice anything about the logo up here? Yeah. The A is in fat in a lower case. Right, it's a lower case. It, but this is originally what it has been, right? Yeah, and then it changed when it went on to the next livery. Suzanne's right. Um, in fact, uh, this is the first uh, livery for British Airways, which was created in 1974 by the merger of BOAC and BEA. The logo for BOAC was this classic Speedbird. And, and I think in the merger, BOAC was the senior partner which is why the Speedbird logo actually survived the merger and appears right there on the nose. I think partly the insistence of the uh, BOAC captains who just couldn't be parted from their beloved Speedbird. Three of the engine cannons have a slightly different paint scheme on them. So this engine behind me is one of the original engines that was on the aircraft. Three of the others were removed and were replaced with end-of-life ones. And you'll notice that the original one is completely grey all over. And the new ones, you can see it goes blue, grey, blue. So that's one thing that we need to do is, is get those resprayed so they're all in the correct paint scheme and she looks in absolute tip-top condition. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to open the door either. Yes. Doesn't rotate. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Giant effort. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You did it well done. That turn is quite heavy, but this is my first time, and maybe last time, ever turn on a 747 door. Now, but mind the gap and uh, I'm afraid we haven't okay, actually got any power up. on at the moment, so it's a bit dark, but come and have a look. Oh, it is dark, it's, it's like really a ghost dark. house here. Yeah. Oh my God. I'll tell you what, we'll use some of these, they're quite handy. Oh, right. There I'll we take go, one too. we'll yeah. one there for you. One for me, yes. And, okay. and then. Wow. This is actually quite scary. Imagine spend a whole night inside a 747 here. <laughs> ah, look. There's some sections of 747 seats that has been removed, right? The economy here. Ah, oh, there's a section seats have removed here. All of these are actually for sale um, on eBay at the moment. Um, there's about a third of them that have sold and the money is going to be going back in towards her preservation costs. And every year we actually run a scholarship program and we take on 10 kids and put them through about five hours of flight training. So any profits that are left over beyond her costs of preserving her and keeping her one piece, we're putting back into our scholarship program. So hopefully we will be able to put like two or three kids through their PPL every year, which is great. So yeah. So quiet here, isn't it? Suzanne, thank you so much for showing me the British Airways Niga 747. Oh, you're most welcome and we can't wait to see everyone come and visit her here. Absolutely, and follow Susie Jet, that's her name on Instagram. <laughs> Day at Cardiff, and uh, not only me, there's a lot of aviation fans came out to see the 747 departure. Are you gonna miss the 747? Because today, uh, this one will be the last one. I mean, I would ask, how can you get more iconic than that? Let's be fair about it. Um, definitely, I think for all of us, I think if I speak for all of us, we will definitely miss her a lot. I have a little young fan here, Hunter and Xavier, and their whole family came out. And actually, Hunter can speak Cantonese. Remember everything you saw today, okay? okay. Yeah, it will go down to the history book today. It's a big day today. So we just had some movement now. The 
747 has been pulled out behind that wall now we can see the cold we can see the whole plane i'm gonna go over to st Athen, wait for this plane's landing okay okay all right okay. and have a great time. christmas ahead okay you, you too bye-bye okay. right. So we just arrived at St. Athen Airport, standing on a tower here. You can actually see Cardiff Airport from a distance. You can see a blue tail, that's the 747, actually. So we're this close. This got to be the shortest 747 ferry flight ever, four miles distance. I'm Tara, I'm one of the photographers today for this amazing event. Uh, and I just want to say that uh, that blue sky over there, that you can see behind me, I actually ordered that for all the photographers. So the controller just gave us a hand I think it, the 747 is about to take off from Cardiff. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. Oh, took off and now just went into the clouds. I see the visibility dropping. You think the plane's right. going to make it? The, the navigation aids here at St. Athen are um, fairly um, basic, which means that the pilots need a fairly high cloud base to get in. Uh, right now with this uh, weather passing through, it's going to be difficult for them to land in these conditions. So maybe they're grateful for a couple of extra minutes to fly around. She uh, got airborne, 180 out, downwind. Um, and now uh, 3,000 feet at uh, 130 knots, so she's, she's low and slow, probably just uh, skirting under the weather, actually. God, that was the best landing I've seen on the 747. It was stunning. I'm having tears coming out. It was so emotional. Sting wheels on a 747 breaking hard. That was a show. That was amazing landing. 50, 30, 20, 10. And then Winter also cooperated on the final landing. And now the 747 is shutting down its engine and it's about to tow to this resting place here. Okay, so we are here in St. Athen on the runway, just about to shut her down for the last time. So, Di is gonna be doing that. All right, so thank you, Bob Charlie. Thank you very much. Shut down. Doors just opened and I can't wait to get back onto Smell because she's homey. <laughs> 
We missed the airplane Price smell. <laughs> Well, now I'm one of the first to go inside the Bowak 747. Together, we're gonna power off the airplane with the crew. This is the airplane smell we missed. This is the stairs we missed boarding on the 747. How did you split up your work today? Because everyone wanted to have that final landing. So we all played a really important part. Everyone had their role to play. But when it came to flying the aircraft, on this occasion, uh, Di and myself flew it. So I completed the takeoff uh, out of Cardiff. I hand over control to Dai, who flew a fantastic approach and lined us up in exactly the right place. And I took control back to do the last final part, which was to land it here in St. Athen. How long was the landing roll you had like today? Like good question. Yeah. I should think we uh, stopped in about 1500 meters, 1400 meters. World's short 747 <laughs> flight today. Quite possibly. What was the flight time, Dai? It was 17 minutes. There you go. So it was a short flight. I don't know if it's the shortest, but uh, we made sure we had enough time to do what we needed to do to safely put it down here at St. Athens. The 747 is just a wonderful aircraft. It's been an honour to fly it. We're delighted that this aircraft is going to be a museum piece. So for years to come, people can come and visit, have a look around. Even if they've never had a chance to actually fly it, or fly in it, they'll still be able to see it. So it is a bittersweet moment. It's very emotional. Um, but we are very pleased as a crew and as a, as a community that this aircraft, in particular the BOAC livery, uh, will become a museum to inspire future generations. Uh, I brought this from my uh, my aviation collection. It's a real museum piece. Look at that. Yeah, over wow. 50 wow. years Look old. That. That's stunning. There's a pre-delivery um, uh, painting of a BOAC 747-100. It's 50 years old uh, and I was just leaving the house. It's part of my collection. I just grabbed it off the wall and brought it with me. Okay, so we'll switch off the IRS mode selectors. The emergency exit lights are off. Half cargo heat, it was off, we had nothing in there today. Air conditioning packs to off. And finally, we'll switch off the uh, APU. And finally, the battery switch off. That's the aircraft shut down. This particular aircraft has flown with us for 21 years. I guess we're, we're, we're all emotional because it is literally it's that, that last flight. It's, it's a moment we've spent years flying these aircraft. As we just said, it's a unique view from the pilot's seat up there, sitting sort of nine meters up is incredible. When you see a 747, there's people say, you know, they can see a little piece of, of Britain when they come and see the, the, the tail fin and the aeroplane because it just stands out, doesn't it? It's so iconic. <laughs> The wonderful story on the 747 continue. Dispatcher Scott That's it. Yep. just proposed to her, his girlfriend, Philippa, on the 747 here in the galley. Uh, so I'm supposed to be at work, obviously <laughs> I'm not, and uh, I've followed Philippa here today. She had no idea that I was going to be here and obviously waited for the right time and come up and, uh, and proposed on the aircraft. It's amazing. Well, it's a mem memorable thing Show for us the ring. So. Beautiful, <laughs> congratulations. Here's the moment. Woo! Are we all invited to your Absolutely, wedding? Yeah, of course. Yay! <laughs> you need to invite a 747 as well. <laughs> the reason why I've chosen to do it on the 747 is because Philippa's grandfather was one of the crew for the first BA747 commercial flights. And then her father has flown for 44 years on the Type as well as her uncle who is also a flight engineer on the classics um, and then later on a flight engineer on concord so it's it's in philippa's family it's in her blood british <laughs> airways and especially the aircraft so that's the reason why i've chosen to uh, fantastic do it here. fantastic stories we've got these tags that we're giving away today from victor papa wow which, which was the transatlantic record breaking uh, this is the yeah this is the metal tag from civp yeah wow amazing. Wow. I need, I need one more. 
Wow, that was great. I only just realized who you were. When you took your mask off oh my God. and I was standing on the stairs, I then recognized you. Really? And I went, oh my God, it's <laughs> that man that my daughter has been following oh all these years. Oh my God, it's years. the airplane freak. <laughs> it's the airplane freak. It's an end of an era, end of the chapter. 16 years of my career flying British Airways 747-400s and now we say goodnight so thank you Queen of the Skies, it's been a blast. It's been a really emotional day, hugely iconic aircraft, we are so going to miss her, we've all loved flying her, it's been an absolute privilege and uh, a very special thing for us to do um, and what a way to finish the day, um, absolutely amazing. What a great day, bittersweet day, but great memories forever. I will keep it in my heart. Thank you, 747, Queen of the Sky.